Music. We love it. We need it. But where does it come from? Deep inside the composer, of course. But the places where the composer was born, where he lived and where he worked, have a huge influence on his music. And the greatest names of classical music made their lives and wrote their music in some of the most fascinating places on earth. In classical destinations, the great composers will take you there to see the cities, to hear the sounds, and to meet the real people behind the music which has shaped our world. The first series introduces us to six brilliant musical minds and the places they called home. Johann Sebastian Bach worked in many of the German states until he finally made his home in the ancient Saxon city of Leipzig. They just demanded from him, we'll have a new cantata every week, please, Herr Bach. Bach's contemporary, George Frederick Handel, travelled much more widely after his birth in Halle in the southern part of Saxony. As a young firebrand, he went to Italy, where he created a sensation before settling in London for the last 40 years of his life. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in Austria, in Salzburg. As a child prodigy, he was touted across the courts of Europe by his father, playing violin and piano. The last 10 years of his life was spent in the center of the musical world, in Vienna, where he died impoverished and unwound. It was Prague that really recognized his genius. Mozart wrote music the way you and I write emails. Uh, there's a wonderful anecdote that he was stuck with his dad in an inn in the Alps, snowed in, dinner was taking a long time coming, so what did he do? He wrote a quick symphony, as you do. And Mozart's music, when it's played properly, it just washes over you. Ludwig van Beethoven spent most of his life in Vienna too, although he was born in Bonn in Germany, then a small provincial town. Early deafness robbed him of a performing career, and his world-shattering achievements as a composer changed music forever. There's something about Beethoven's music. To me, it's all bound up in his deafness. Here is a composer slowly going deaf. Warsaw and Paris were the cities at the heart of Frédéric Chopin's world. He was one of the first great piano virtuosos, and his piano music helped usher in a new romantic spirit across all the arts. And finally, Edvard Grieg, who, like Chopin, wasn't afraid to express a new sense of national identity in his art. Grieg's music breathes the air of Norway, illustrating the northern nation's landscape, climate, folklore. You can see Edvard Grieg there. It, it's a very unique place just because it's just a home. That is, it's his home and not, nothing has been removed from it. You see his furniture, you can see his notes, you can see old pictures, and you just feel that you're a part of the history when you walk through the house. Classical Destinations, The Great Composers, is your passport to a deeper, more intimate understanding of these six composers and the places out of which their sublime music grew. <laughs>